Um, well, it's re- actually, it's very relevant at the moment because I'm doing a myeloma clinic today. Um, so what's changed uh, markedly is that the uh, majority of the consultations at the moment are uh, telephone consultations. Um, patients have been bled um, either remotely, so at uh, other sites, um, or uh, we have got the luxury of an outreach nurse who sees uh, some patients um, and it's a phone consultation and we're sending out the medicines to the patient. So it's a huge change in how we practice. Uh, and it will be interesting to see in the future whether we stick with doing that. I suspect we will do for a lot of our patients. Um, so that's one big change. The other big changes have, have been around treatment. Um, so I think there's a, a move to more oral uh, treatment. So, for example, uh, the lenalidomide and uh, pomalidomide um, have become more attractive. Uh, exazomib again, um, and uh, we are have been allowed to use, uh, lenalidomide up front, um, which is great. So that that gives us a, 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 an option. Um, other things have happened very rapidly. So daratumumab is um, is available subcutaneously for um, a defined group of patients. It's not every patient at the moment, uh, but that again has been a, a massive uh, uh, advantage for us. Um, uh, and one of the consideration is is a frequency of of um, daratumumab and certainly patients that are very stable we've tended to increase to six weekly for example um, we haven't been giving zometa we've been giving oral bisphosphonates at the moment um, so there's been a huge change in our practice um, I think the big uncertainty is is, uh, is really around uh, when we should start to go back to normal really uh, we're nowhere near there at the moment um, autologous stem cell transplantation again is, um, is is a big debate at the moment and I think most centres are probably not doing any um, but again in the next month or so there may be um, uh, a move to doing more, uh, a few um, but uh, this, there's a lot of uncertainty about risk of COVID um, so it makes discussions quite difficult.